everyone welcome back to the channel i appreciate clicking on that video as always and we are back with another rack store pickup and this time i was able to finally find a fragrance that you guys have been telling me about for a little while now specifically in the last rack store haul video that i did you guys said gerard you got to try this one next time you see it grab it you guys had seen it in some of the footage from the actual rack store i was able to find it at burlington and in the last video you guys saw this one in the footage leading up to me grabbing those and i went back and it was gone i went to all my usual burlington spots none of them had it and then finally just yesterday i was finally able to find it so i grabbed it and let's see what all the hype is about you guys hype this one up so i'm excited to try because nine times out of ten you guys are spot on scent we are talking about is cr7 game on and obviously this is cristiano ronaldo's fragrance i have never tried any of his fragrances i know that i want to say there's three of them and they are well uh received with a lot of people now i paid 25 dollars for a hundred ml right there at burlington so yeah you're we're in cheapy territory 100 ml uh i don't know much about the scent other than it is compared to armani strong with you i know ross over at tltg just picked this one up not too long ago i mentioned to him in his comment section that you guys have been saying you got to try this out i'm going to try it on strip first see what i get then throw it on skin take a look at the notes and maybe even do a little comparison to armani's strong with you so let's get into it so i'm a fan of the bottle already i like sort of the matte black finish i like the little pop of orange there with game on um you got the silver sort of accents here so pretty uh sharp looking bottle uh, again for 25 bucks it feels really heavy in the hand it's kind of flash style and you have a super cheap cap that snaps into place and then you have Ronaldo's uh sort of iconic image there I can't I don't know if you can see it but uh so let's check out the atomizer Not a bad atomizer there. So let's get this on strip. Now I am a fan of the strong with you DNA. I love that scent. More specifically for cooler weather. Uh, that nutty, sweet, vanillic, almost a slight booziness to it. So in the air already, I'm liking this. I'm picking up a lot of lavender in the air. Okay, so I'm getting strong with you vibes for without question. Sweet doesn't smell cheap. That's the first thing that jumps out at me. Now this keep in mind is on strip. Strip doesn't tell the whole story. I'd like to try things on skin just to see how they come alive because that is usually what happens when I spray on skin. The scent changes and it just becomes more dynamic, a little more nuanced and you can pick out more notes. but. Off a strip, not too bad. There's a fruitiness. It's a little musky, sweet. Has a slight creaminess to it. This already, I can tell you guys, off of the strip is a really nice scent for what I paid for the $24.99 for 100 ml. It's really nice. Now I'm gonna put this strip aside because I'm gonna compare this to Armani strong with you at the end of this video. So really quickly, I'm going to get this on skin. We're going to take a look at the notes and go from there. So the notes for CR7, game on. Top notes are papaya, ice, cardamom, and apple. Mid notes are lavender, violet, and alamy resin. And the base notes are tonka bean, sugar, cedar, juniper berries, cashmere wood, and guyac wood. I'm definitely still getting the strong with you vibes. However, this is a bit of a fresher take, I think, on that DNA. There's a sharpness to it, which is leading me to believe that that could be coming from that juniper berry. I am getting some fruitiness here and that lavender. So overall, it's a clean smelling scent with some sweetness. 
with some aromatics in here. So it, it's quite nice. It's, uh, uh, again, getting all of that sort of nuance off of the skin is impressive for a more inexpensive fragrance like this. And off of skin, it's really nice. So I'm curious to see how this compares to Armani Strong with you. Let's get that on strip and I'm gonna test them both next to each other. I got my Stronger with you here and I absolutely love this stuff. And to be honest, this is my favorite in line. I know it has a lot of flankers. A lot of those flankers aren't always available here in the US. They're European releases, but again, not a big deal. I know absolutely is a really nice one. However, this one you can't go wrong with. So the first thing that jumps out to me just from the smelling the two strips next to one another is there is still that sort of fruity vibe sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. I know some people think that the opening of Strong With You is very sweet, but it's not just sweetness. I think the sage in there is also adding some of that sweetness, but it has more of an herbal quality to it, along with that nuttiness and the vanillic touches and a little bit more ambery. Uh, when I smell the uh, CR7, it has that. It's a little lighter. It's a little bit more woody. Uh, off a strip, it's not as strong. So, yeah, but I think in terms of how close they are to one another, they are very close. Yeah, this 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 could be uh, very very much a uh, replacement, I guess, a, a more inexpensive uh, version of Strong With You. So obviously you may not get the same performance that you get from something like a Strong With You, which it, for me is a really good performer. Uh, I, as I said, really like this scent, especially in the uh, cooler uh, evenings. This works beautifully, um, but right now, the CR7 is nice. And the only thing is, is I notice it's kind of fading quickly on my skin. I could be going a little bit nose blind to it because I'm sniffing a lot of fragrance right now. So I wouldn't judge the performance just yet on this. What I will do, as I always do, is wear this this week and let you guys know in my weekly wears video what type of longevity I got from it and what I thought of the scent overall. But right off the top i'm liking this one quite a bit again that lavender it smells really clean it might even smell a bit cleaner and a little bit it, uh, definitely fresher than the armani strong with you but the scent dna is there the what the it they both are getting to the same place just with slightly different approaches so i am very impressed for what you're getting here for $25. And as far as occasions to wear this, I would say that on first impressions, this is could be a nice evening out scent. It's a little playful, but also it's put together. That lavender sort of reigns things in and makes this feel like a clean, masculine, fun sort of scent. It's gonna be versatile, I think. It's not something that I would necessarily wear to the office, although, on really cold days in a temperature controlled area, you're probably gonna get away with this, uh, you know, but yeah, I like this quite a bit. So you guys nailed it as you usually do. So yeah, CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo game on. Uh, I can definitely recommend this one to you guys so far. Again, wait till my weekly wears video on Monday where I go over every fragrance that I wore all seven days for the week prior. And I will be wearing this one and giving you a little bit more insight as to what my overall thoughts are on the scent. So CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo, game on. That's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you tried CR7 game on? What are your thoughts? Have you tried it up against Armani's Stronger With You? Are they the same? Legitimate clone of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.